What is up, YouTube tool tubers of the world? My name is Brad. Welcome to the workbench, and we have August edition of the Harbor Freight Inside Trap Club coupons. And I gotta admit, they did pretty damn good this August. There's some pretty impressive coupons in here that I'm gonna show you. But before we get into that, we got something new I wanna show you coming to Brad's workbench. That's right, we got merch. Merch for everybody. We got t-shirts, just plain logo t-shirts, a tool tuber on the back, exceptionally mediocre, I think defines me as well. The classic I fix shit, I make shit shirts. A few selection for like the three women that watch my channel. And also hoodies and just regular die cut stickers. Those are available on Teespring. There's a link in the description that'll take you over to the store. Check out the different colors, the different selections. See if there's something you might like. I tried to keep the prices relatively affordable, except for my Patreons who already have had access to this store and paid only at cost prices. That's just my way of saying thank you to those guys that really go above and beyond supporting this channel. But let's get right into these coupons now. And over to the right, we have a great deal, 30% off the Cobalt Drill Bit set at $44 there. That is a hell of a deal. And I definitely suggest maybe trying that out because Cobalt Drill Bits are great for harder metals such as stainless steel. And before we get too far along, I do want to ask you guys, leave a comment. Let me know if this new format looks okay to you. Let me know if you have any trouble taking screenshots and using these pictures in store because Harbor Freight did change the size of their coupons on their website. Therefore, I have to change the way I present those coupons to you. So this is the best thing I come up with. If it doesn't work, we'll figure out another way. But I'm definitely going to rely on your feedback to see if this is going to work or not. And if you're wondering what the noises in the background may be, those are my two young daughters playing. It's just something we're going to have to deal with in order to get these videos out as soon as possible. For those of you that did not see my video explaining all the changes Harbor Freight has made, let me let you know that they did change to a digital catalog. During the month of July, they had their coupons for their catalog expire in the middle of the month, then put out a second set of coupons. So I kind of complained about that. Now, in August, the coupons that they put in their regular digital catalog are good to the end of August. So we'll see what September brings. I have no idea. But what I'm going to do is I'm not only putting out this Inside Track Club video at the beginning of the month. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to start working on the best coupons of Harbor Freight for the month, showing you only coupons that save you 30% or more. So keep an eye out for that coming in a few days. Those do take a little while to put together. Over to the right, you got $3.99 for a Drill Master Step Bit. I think that's a pretty damn good price. I like the Drill Master Step Bits. I have them, I use them, and as long as you don't overheat them too quickly, they seem to do the job. And the same rules apply for their high-speed steel drill bits right there. You can see a set for 20 bucks. They're titanium coated. The reason they're a little more expensive is because they are that 135 degree split point to where you don't need to make a divot. They won't walk on you as bad. Got a three-piece puller set. Now these are three draw pullers. I have used these. They are by far not the best, but for somebody using them at home, when you need a puller, they are so nice to have. For $15, throw them in your drawer. When you need them, you'll have them. There are quite a few coupons for Pittsburgh Pro Ratchets this month, but I wouldn't use them because there's also that coupon floating around that's $5 off any Pittsburgh Pro Ratchet with no expiration date. I'll leave that coupon at the end of the video. As far as I know, they're still accepting it. I used it maybe three months ago the last time. The uh, truck cargo net over there to the left for $10 is a pretty good deal. It's like 30% off, but I've never used a truck cargo net because I never thought... They look like they really would work worth a damn. So uh, I guess use at your own risk. There's the one ton arbor press we talked about. Maybe not last month, maybe the month before. I can't remember exactly. But I do remember asking for people to comment if they've used it. And the few comments I got talking about it were not that great. I do like this deal on the cutoff wheels. I've used these cutoff wheels a lot at work and at home. And no, they're not the best at all. They do wear out quicker than some of the other name brand ones. But six dollars for ten of them you change them out as frequently as you want to and you don't feel bad about it you got the hercules sawzall blades over there to the right i normally don't suggest going cheap on sawzall blades i think you can get diablo and milwaukee just a little bit more than that but i haven't used the hercules one so maybe it's a gem of harbor freight if you've used them leave a comment down below let some people know I can tell you however do not do not bother wasting your money with the warrior brand sawzall blades <laughs> they are just trash they're terrible $8.99 for the hex sockets there is a damn good deal i haven't used the pittsburgh pro ones but i have some work pros that are very similar so if the pittsburgh pros are anything like them they do a damn good job and i love having the extra reach with the long kind 
Coming up is one of my favorite tools to have in the shop, and that is the 4-inch digital caliper. For $9.99, you get about 30% off. This doesn't have the fractional mode like the 6-inch version does, but it is very nice to keep in your pocket. It doesn't jab you in your belly every time you go to bend over. <laughs> but who knows, maybe that's just a problem I deal with. I have used their auger bits quite a bit, and they do okay. Uh, I usually try to use a spade bit whenever possible. They just seem to go faster for me. But there are times when an auger bit definitely comes in handy to have in your arsenal. And I've always seen this little green multi-tool universal wrench thing they call. I don't even think I'd keep that in my glove box. But if you've ever used it, please let me know what you use it for and if it's any good or not. $60 for a cross slide vise is dirt cheap. So although I haven't used this particular one, I wouldn't expect too much out of it. And guys, if you have not heard, Harbor Freight did come out with a store credit card. I'm not going to do a dedicated video. I'm sure plenty of people will. And to be honest with you, I'm not that excited about it. It's like any store credit card. They'll rope you in. It can be a good thing if used correctly. But just remember that if you screw up your payments, if you miss a payment or something like that, they're going to hit you with that full interest rate. And it's 25.99% from what I've seen. So if you are going to get one, if you are going to use it, just be damn sure... You can make your payments and you can afford what you're getting. And maybe somebody can explain to me why this digital inspection camera is $150. Yeah, it has a screen with it, but you can buy just ones that hook up to your phone or your computer or even via Bluetooth that have a 20-foot cable on it for $20 on Amazon right now. I, I Maybe that's a certain high quality. I, I just don't see the application. You would need that that the other ones wouldn't work in. And of course, I've got a comment on the one pound dead blow for $4. Everybody loves a dead blow, and when you're not using it, you do a little Mirachi Samba. If you haven't seen my top five hand tools of Harbor Freight, you might want to go check it out, because I do a little dance with my very own four pound dead blow in that video. Got a nice coupon, $6 for a three pound drilling hammer. Now, I prefer the short handles on hammers like these. In fact, I had a 10 pound sledgehammer that had a broken handle. I just cut off shorter and shaped it. And I love it. That is my go-to for pounding in ground rods. These little seven inch Bremen locking pliers, I've had very good luck with so far. I've used probably about a year in my home shop and they're still going strong. And I still have not pulled the trigger on this band file yet. I keep talking about it. It was on sale last month. The guy did make a comment that it wasn't that good, but I still think I want to test it for myself. <laughs> Eventually, next time I'm down there, I might get it this month. Who knows? There's the new Windsor Design chisel set that is replacing the wood-handled chisel set. So if you happen to be in a Harbor Freight and you still have the wood-handled sets on sale... Pick them up. They're usually around 10 bucks, but they're not going to be putting any more of those out. Once they sell out of those, from what I've been told, they're not going to be sold anymore. $8 for a 24-inch combination square. Now, maybe I could be wrong, but 24 inches is pretty tough to keep square that full length. So for $8, I doubt Harbor Freight's doing it. And I did miss it, but they just had that coupon for the Working Hands Cream. And I got to tell you, that's some good stuff, especially during the winter time. If your hands get dried and cracked, mine do it. Uh, it doesn't have a smell and it doesn't leave your hands all oily feeling. So if you ever have that situation, feel free to try the working hand. You can find it at Walmart just as cheap, so don't feel like you got to go to Harbor Freight for it. Got another ratchet coming up. It's just under $5 off. So again, do not use this coupon. Wait and use the $5 off any Pittsburgh Pro ratchet. I'll be putting at the end of the video. And the amazing Flaming Stool is back on sale this month. <laughs> I think they're really probably trying to get rid of these. And somebody did make a comment that after you sit in this thing for about a month or so, the padding just completely wears out. I do like this 115-piece titanium-coated high-speed steel drill bit set. It's got the ABC sizes, the gauge sizes. Now, you will save more if you use a 20% off coupon. You get about $10 off, so I wouldn't suggest using the Inside Track Club coupon here. If they do come out with a 20% off coupon for August, use that instead. Although, I haven't seen a 20% off coupon for August yet. Not saying it's not going to come out, because I'm recording this on the 31st of July right now. But I looked all through the digital copy of the August magazine, and I could not find a 20% off coupon, so it's going to be kind of weird for Harbor Freight to have a month with no 20% off coupon. Come on, that's a Harbor Freight staple, man. $8 for the little magnetic sweeper isn't bad. Those are very easy to make on your own if you want to, but 
I understand spending the money when you don't want to spend the time making something like that. Got some cheapo knee pads. They'll get the job done if you just need something to get you by a little while. Don't expect a long life out of those. And the automatic center punch. I have this. I've used this one for about a year and a half, almost two years, and I love it. Works great. I have not had a single issue with it, especially for a $2 tool. And as I've said many times before, you can't beat the Harbor Freight casters. They've had many versions of casters in this month's coupon, so pick the ones you need, and, and I'd say go with them. I wouldn't waste your money on the super cheap plastic toolboxes. I do like the high flow blowgun, but I don't know if I like it at $15. But that's still a lot cheaper than others on the market, especially like the Capri one or stuff like that. The little two inch bench top cutoff saw. <laughs> I don't know why somebody would buy that. It You could do with an angle grinder anything you could do with that, or even a hacksaw. You could probably cut it faster by hand than with that little thing. Got some impact wobble sockets over there. I do like those. They're all half inch drive, just different lengths. And the bolt cutters, I need some bolt cutters, but I don't know if the Harbor Freight ones would be worth a damn. So if you use the Harbor Freight bolt cutters, definitely please let me know in the comments. $2.99 for the little hose brackets there. Now those can be very handy for a lot more than just hanging a, a water hose. Think about a bike, I mean all kinds of stuff. They might be thin metal, but you'd be surprised when they bend it the way they do, how much weight them things can actually hold. The spotting scope there has always been one of them Harbor Freight items I've always been curious about, but I'll never buy. And then you got the insulated plier set is a great deal at $20. That's the Quinn brand. I've got many of their other pliers. 70 bucks for the belt disc sander is not a bad deal. And I also like them little one inch brushes. You can do all kinds of stuff with them little chip brushes. That's definitely one of the Harbor Freight items I like to always keep in stock in my shop. And we got one last coupon just sitting down there waiting to come on up. And it's a folding dolly truck, folding platform truck. And at 30 bucks, that's another great shop item to have. You'd probably be surprised how often you'll use it once you have it. If you can't afford one of them fancy hydraulic lifting tables. And there's the ratchet coupon I was talking about all during the video. Like I said, I've used it about three to four months ago and it was still working. So hopefully they haven't killed that coupon. Go ahead and use that one if you need to buy any Pittsburgh Pro ratchets. And keep an eye out in the next couple days, the best coupons from Harbor Freight will be coming out for the month of August. They've already released those coupons. So I just got to sort through them and figure out which ones are good and which ones are total garbage. But until next time, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button right there. And we'll holler at you next time. Peace!